the noble families of the Montags and the Capulets, live in the city of Verona. Both families, are enemies, and even their servants get into fights with each other. Princess Calus, who is the ruler of the city, always tells the families to stop fighting, or they will be punished. Montague has only one child, a teenage boy called Romeo. Capulet also has only one child, a beautiful 14-year-old daughter called Juliet. One evening, Romeo sneaks into a party at the Capulet's house. He meets Juliet, and they fall in love with each other. Later on, Romeo overhears Juliet standing on her balcony, admitting her love for him. He reveals himself, and they agree to be married. Friar Lawrence agrees to marry them in secret. The next day, Juliet's cousin, Tybalt confronts Romeo, angry that he sneaked into the party. Romeo's friend Mercutio steps in, and fights Tybalt. Tybalt kills Mercutio, so Romeo takes revenge and kills Tybalt. The prince orders Romeo to leave the city, and warns he will be executed if he returns. Romeo secretly spends the night with Juliet before leaving the next morning. Juliet is left upset after Romeo leaves. To cheer her up, her parents arrange for her to quickly marry Paris, who is a cousin of the prince. This only makes it worse. Juliet refuses, so her father threatens to kick her out, if she doesn't marry Paris. Friar Lawrence, suggests a drug that can put her to sleep for a few hours, so that she can pretend to be dead, so that she can sneak out with Romeo. The friar sends a message to Romeo to tell him about the plan. Juliet takes the drug and her family, thinking her to be dead, lay her in the family tomb. But before the messenger can reach Romeo, he learns of Juliet's death from someone else, and believes she is really dead. He's sad, and buys some poison to kill himself at July tomb. Romeo goes to the tomb and is discovered by Paris, who has also come to mourn her. They fight, and Romeo kills Paris. Still believing Juliet to be dead, Romeo poisons himself. Juliet wakes up, but when she sees that Romeo is dead, she stabs herself. The play ends with the families, and the prince entering the tomb and discovering them dead. In their sadness. The families agree they should no longer be enemies with each other.